Of course. Uh, my name is uh, Alexandra Bosomi Callejo. I'm uh, French and Spanish. And uh, I have studied bioengineering in, first in Switzerland at EPFN in Lausanne. And then I went to grad school in uh, the UK in London at Imperial College. And now I'm doing a postdoctoral fellowship in Boston at MIT. I first uh, started studying biomechanics, uh, so because I did bioengineering, but I did that in my PhD looking at a glaucoma, which is an ocular disease, it's a pressure-related ocular disease, and so I was very much working at the tissue level, at the eye level, and I did quite a bit of imaging, and that kind of left me wanting for more, and so after my PhD I really wanted to try and study more the cells, and uh, that's when I discovered microfluidic technology, which is really a unique technology that allows you to image cells at very high resolution and uh, explore the dynamics at a much precise scale. And that's when I decided to do my postdoc in uh, microfluidics to look at uh, cancer and immune cell interactions. Yeah, of course. So um, I am in a lab that works on creating vascularized models in microfluidic chips. Uh, so kind of like a tissue engineering lab. And so I came in in the lab when they were using these models to look at uh, the process by which cancer cells metastasize. And by that I mean the process by which cancer cells leave the primary tumor and uh, stop at a secondary site to form a new tumor. And the reason microfluidic devices are really powerful to study that is because it's really hard to image in vivo. And it's a very uh, hidden process that is formed by very different steps. And so my lab and others, which is Professor Kahn's lab, have developed microfluidic devices that have modeled each specific step so that we can dissect them in uh, uh, with a lot of precision by putting them under a microscope and then you explore how cells you know, migrate and what they do. And so I came in the lab when that was already done and the, the purpose of my project was to use these models to study how immune cells, since there's a lot of interest in immune therapy right now, how immune cells are actually affecting the process of metastasis. And so this is what I'm currently doing. So one of the results I'm really proud of right now is um, the fact that, so I'm studying immune cells, so a kind of immune cell that is called monocytes, and again, as I said before, they're really hard to image in vivo, and so using our system, we managed to identify the mechanism by which uh, the cells transmigrate from the inside of the blood vessel to the outside of the blood vessel, and in doing so, they actually become a different type of immune cells and that is something that we are studying right now. So I actually, the reason I entered the field of microfluidics because I think that it offers a huge potential for personal line medicine, which is really where I think a lot of interest lies right now. And so if I had to pick one, because I have many, but if I had to pick one, I would really uh, like to know that in 10 or 20 years, we'd actually be able to use the microfluidics as a point of care diagnostics to assess the effect of food on uh, healthcare uh, before they're actually put out on the market. Um, in my experience, I think uh, the best advice I could give based on my experience would be to really keep an open mind, uh, to stay curious because, you know, very often in research at least you end up doing something that you really had no idea you would be doing. So very much stay critical of your work, stay curious. And it's, but most importantly, to just be open to meeting people that are from different fields. Because as a bioengineer, I've really loved the fact that it's a very interdisciplinary field, and you end up talking to people from very different backgrounds. And in doing so, not only do you learn a lot, but you also become a much uh, better uh, uh, person at identifying what are the problems that are important in your field, but also in others.